so hello guys once again welcome to our channel so today we'll simply be running a program on array and this program is to calculate the average of 12 numbers using an array so the usual way we'll start with the program program name and then the next line of code is my implicit node now in this program i'm basically going to be using um, comment lines to um, make more expressions so you feel free to add your comment line anywhere within the program so um i've written declare variables so on the next line i'm going to um declare my variable for real so this is how i do that for my real i have my real comma dimension and then i'll put the dimension so i'm using a single dimension like a one dimensional array which is of rank one so i'll put the dimension here so this is a one dimensional array with size as 12. so I'll simply do and save this array as A. Then you can also include your comment line there and say for the array. And then um, on the next line, I'll have to also declare for my sum and average. And remember, if I want to calculate for my average, I need to sum the numbers first, right? Before I now find the average. So I will indicate for my sum and average. And then there is one very important thing also to do. I'm going to be making use of a loop in this program. So for the loop, I wouldn't like to use a real to define my number for the loop. Remember, the mode of increase for your loop is usually in integers right your loop will increase in a succession of maybe one two three four five six seven or would either increase maybe in one three five seven or depending on how you set it but it has to be in integer so i'll um, definitely use an integer to de define my loop so i'll have integer i for my loop so let's put it down here integer i i so my loop now goes with i so when i want to call up my loop i'll simply make use of my i and you know the next line of code we have to write after declaring our variable is the display statement which is used as right so i will do my right remember that your right statement should be in quotation mark so i'll simply write in the quotation what i want to display first so this whatever i'm writing here as my first right statement is the first thing the computer gets to display when i run the program so i'll simply say here um state the values for the 12 numbers so if i set values for the 12 numbers then if i set values for the 12 numbers then the next thing i have to do is to read those numbers right but before i read those numbers i'll have to also set the value for my sum to um 0, 0.0 now the reason i'm setting the value for my sum to 0, 0.0 is so that i'll have 0, 0.0 as the initial value for my sum so that when i start adding i'll add the first the first number like if i add the first number to 0, 0.0 it becomes the value of that first number right and then when i add the second number to the value of that first number it becomes the sum of the two and when, then when i add the value of the third it becomes the sum of the three so this is the concept so that's why I, you, you always have to set your sum to 0, 0.0 before you continue um, with the summation in your loop so 
I I have written here on the first comment line. After setting the numbers, we have to read them in using a loop. So that's very important for you to note. You read in the numbers in your array using a loop. That's the simple way you can just read in those numbers and then still maintain their integrity. So um, right here I have on my second comment line. But the first, but first we have to set the initial value of sum to zero point zero. All right, that's okay. That's fair to understand. And then I'll simply do this. So sum becomes um, zero point zero. And then next I will have my loop here. So do for i, I'm doing for, I'm performing a loop for i, that's the integer i. So I'll use 1, 12, which means perform a loop from the first number to the 12th number. So I have do i in 1, I have do i for 2, for 3, for 4, for 5, for 6, for 7, till 12. So now I'll now read in my values of a with respect to the loop so this is how i write it i write read and then i have a then i'll put my i in parentheses now this i stands for the do loop here that i've um, indicated to be um this integer i here and then here also i've made a loop for it which is 1 comma 12 so when i read a with respect to the loop i what i'm just trying to do is to set numbers for the individual values of a from 1 to 12 so the numbers i'm setting is for the individual values of a, a at 1, a at 2, a at 3, a at 4, a at 5, till a at 12. Remember, this does not, this um, is not the same as the, for, uh, the mathematical expression a into i. This does not mean you should multiply a with i. It just means you should perform a loop for the values of a so reading a for the values of a in this loop i just hope you understand that so i'll simply do the same for my sum i have sum is equal to sum plus a to the loop i so remember that my initial value for my sum is 0.0, .0. So when I have here sum is equal to sum into uh, plus the loop a, a of i. So what I'm trying to express here is you have the initial value 0, 0.0 then plus the a value of the loop. So the a value of the first loop of the second number of the third number and so on. So then next I will do my and do remember that when you have a do loop you always have to end your loop so i'll simply um, give assign a value to my average by dividing the sum by a number 12 so when i divide the sum by the number 12 i'll save it as my average so i assign the value to my average so then the next thing is to print out my results so when i want to print out my results i know that as usual i would have to use my write statement so i'll simply um, go here again the average the average of the 12 numbers 
is then when I do this I'll have to call up the value for average outside here not in quotation again so I'll use my AVG here which is the same as the value I've assigned to my average and then after calling it up that's the last thing I'll simply end my program with end program the initial program name is what I'll say right here when I end my program so I'll end program ARR AVG so this is the last step and then the next thing to do is to save build and run my program so I'll go ahead and save my program as ARR average so when I save it I'll go ahead and then build the program and then after that I'll simply run the program so when I run the program let's see what happens when I run the program I should get something like this so we are have um, to impute my the values for my a now remember this what the what you have above there is the first um, write statement we use set the values for the 12 numbers so what I'm doing here now is to set my a values for the i loop so I've done this and I've gotten my results so here's what my result looks like the average of the 12 numbers is 11.0833 so this is just basically how you can make use of your array and the loop to perform simple calculations so feel free to leave your comments on the comment section below also in share to like our videos share to your friends and subscribe to see your friends Ecos class. Thank you.